Howdy folks, we're out here in the garage getting ready to make some awesome catfishing jug noodles. Go ahead and open yourself up a cocktail. I got a beer myself. Let's get started. Oh look, whoa. Whoa, baby. Daddy got Woo! <laughs> Say where you go, Daddy. Look, that is, that's, very that's quite eight pounds. Look, look, right. smile, Brandon. Smile, Brandon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never had to get back to show you how big that damn thing is. <laughs> now, if you want to go ahead and pause that video right now, down in the description below, I've included all the parts and pieces as well as the tools you need to get round up so you can follow along with this video and make these from start to finish. In the description, all the parts and pieces you need is to make 10. So if you want to make 20, just double everything down below. So I'm going to start in the very, very beginning and go all the way to the end start to finish. As you know, we've had a lot of proven success. If you followed our fishing playlist at all, if you're new to this channel, please consider subscribing by clicking down below. I went ahead and made this simply because we have a big fishing trip planned to Truman Lake. I'll be posting a video at the beginning of next week. So I had to make some anyways. I watched a lot of videos on how to make these on YouTube. And the issue is everybody's got kind of like their own twist or they suck at explaining things. So hopefully I do a better job. Either way, the noodles that we make, that you're gonna make, do an awesome job of catching big catfish. Let's get started right now. Two 10 foot half inch PVC pipes, three bright colored PVC noodles with the smaller hole, about a half inch hole there. If you can't find that, you can get the bigger diameter and you're gonna have to put some glue on your PVC pipe to help keep it nice and snug. 20 half inch PVC, end caps, 10 5 16 by two and a quarter or two and a half, it really doesn't matter, eye bolts with a nut, and 20 stainless steel washers. When you get your eye bolts, just make darn sure They're gonna fit over your eyeball like this, okay? Two of them, one for each side. We'll explain in a little bit. It's a nice, thick 100 pound test, like so. Now, depending on the depth of your water, uh, we're gonna set these all up for about 20 feet. So 20 by 10 will give you 200 feet. This is 150 yards, which is 450 feet. So we're good to go. We're gonna use less than half of this bed. 10 half ounce egg sinkers. See how it's got the hole through each end, it's kind of shaped like an egg. This is a 40 pack and we only need 10. 10 size three swivels. All we need is 10. See, size three barrel swivel. Now, depending on what you're actually fishing for, we'll determine what size hooks to get. I only prefer circle hooks, circle hooks, circle hooks, circle hooks. We're gonna use live bait on these, so we're gonna set them up pretty heavy. On the ones that we have just noodles and liver on, we got five aught, size five. These are size seven and size nine for live bait. I also got a couple rattles. These are optional, okay? These are uh, Versa catfish rattles. Exactly. You can also use bead stops, or you really don't have to use them at all. We're also gonna need regular clear PVC cement. Now there's a million different things in these little cans here. Just get the regular PVC cement and that's good enough. We're also gonna need some kind of silicone that's uh, you know marine use. You can use some 3M, you don't have to. I just got some cheap um, indoor, outdoor, windows, doors, molding silicone right here. Once you've assembled all this stuff, we're gonna need some tools. Let's look at that now. First off, most importantly, you need something to cut the pipes. So I'm gonna use my wife's little handy dandy craft saw here. Just a little miter saw. Now you can use a pipe cutter, you can use a hand saw, which takes forever, we don't recommend it. Little miter saw makes it real quick and easy, uh, way less mess. 
That's tool number one. One socket on a driver, like this. So whatever size socket you're gonna use, see in this case is a half inch, that's gonna correspond with the nut on your eyeball, okay? Like this, just like that. That's how you know what size to use. We're also gonna need a cordless screwdriver. I guess you could do it by hand, but that would take forever. So cord the screwdriver right here. Also, speaking of the right sizes, you're gonna need a drill bit that corresponds with the eye bolt. So you can do a hair bigger, it really doesn't matter because you're gonna seal this all up with silicone. Um, and you're gonna have washers that squeeze that together and this nut's gonna bring it together. You'll see here in just a minute when we put it together. So now we know all of our parts and pieces we need and our tools, let's get started. Okay, so now we're gonna take our two half inch PVC pipes. So both of these are 10 feet long, which gives us 240 inches. That allows us to make 10 24 inch noodles. Let's get started. Be sure and watch your fingers. So we got two already. I'm gonna go ahead and cut the rest of these up and be right back. Something else I wanna point out as we make our last cut here. When you do your saw, you wanna go nice and slow if you're using a miter saw. Otherwise, it chips them all up at the ends and makes them look terrible and makes them hard to seal. So just a quick tip. Now, our PVC is 24 inches, so we're going to cut this down, cut the noodle down, that is, into about 18 inch sections, which should give us 3 inches on each side. Let's go ahead and cut these up. Now you can use a razor blade scissors, I'm just going to use a saw because I got it right here and I'm good to go. So to kind of give you a sneak peek of what this is going to look like, we'll have these on, and here in a minute we'll show you how to put the ends on, but we're starting to get them knocked out. Let's go ahead and do the rest. Now once you're all done putting your PVC pipe through your pull noodles, you should end up with something like this. Two, four, six, eight, ten. Now we're going to go ahead and set these aside, and we're going to work on our end caps. Quick bonus tip, you see a lot of people making them like this. So if you have some extra noodles, you can go ahead and just cut up little donuts and put them on the ends. As long as you have about, you know, a half inch to an inch sticking out on each end, we'll be able to put our caps on and that'll be no big deal. In our cove in front of the house, right out here just the other day, these people came in and they must have threw like 60 noodles. And theirs were different colors than ours, but still it kind of make it hard. It made it very difficult to determine the differences. So by adding these little donuts on the end, that was just kind of my silly idea. I'll definitely be able to spot them now, no problem. Next step, go ahead and get half of your PVC end caps out and your PVC cement. We're we'll gonna go ahead and put a dab inside of each one of these. And you just wanna coat around the inside pretty thickly. Thickly, that's a good word, thickly. So we're gonna go ahead and do all these really fast. So this is the easy end. All you're gonna do is grab your noodle, firmly push it in there. Like so. Do that 10 more times or nine more times, you know. Just however you wanna count works, nine more times. Okay, so once you're all done, you're gonna have one side on every noodle that has your end cap on it, and one open side. Go ahead and keep your PVC cement out, grab your silicone, get ready for the next step. Okay, now that you have your other 10 end caps here, go ahead and get your drill bit. And you're gonna take each one of these, try not to drill your finger, dead center, drill a hole right through the middle. So just kind of firmly hold this tight with your thumb and index finger. Drill all the way through, like so. 
and you can even wallow that hole out a little bit. Okay, set that to the side. Go back and do it nine more times. Now, once you have your hole opened up, that hole needs to be the diameter slightly above, slightly below the diameter of your eye bolt. Okay, see how it's going in there nicely? But what we're gonna do first is go ahead and drop one of your washers you got onto your eye bolt like so. Set it down. Go ahead and get some of your silicone. Put a little dollop on top. Then we're gonna go ahead and push that all the way through. Maybe like this. We're gonna get it all the way to the top. So that silicone is gonna help seal your hole. And we're also gonna do it again on the inside. So we're just gonna put a squirt around our hole here, like this. Go ahead and drop a washer on it. You're gonna make a little mess. Get your nut ready. You just wanna seal these up. It's important to seal them up because when we first made some, we didn't do a very good job sealing them up. So the benefit of using these half inch pipes, I'll say it again, versus a one inch pipe, is the one inch pipe just floats if you have a fish on. So it's really hard to tell. These half inch, when they have a fish on, they will literally stand straight up, and it's so exciting. So, you got that on. We're gonna go ahead and tighten that up. And just snug it up. I mean, you don't have to get crazy with it. But good and tight, and that's gonna seal all that in. So that silicone sealed in between the eye bolt, all through the cap, okay? So you're gonna do that nine more times. Once you've got all nine of those done, your noodle is 90% there. Go ahead and get your cement out again. Go around the inside, and this one's kind of tedious because that nuts through there. Okay, make sure we got enough because we can't, can't peel it all out on the sides. And get this side on. Like that. Now we have our first PVC noodle. All we gotta do is put our string on it and we will catch some fish. I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of these up and we'll talk about how to set them up from a string standpoint. And there we got 10 noodles ready to string. Let's go. Now we're gonna start with our strings. As I said, I'm gonna set these up for about 20 feet of water. So this really depends on how deep you wanna set them. Um, an easy way to do that with your line is take your tape measure and measure your wingspan. Spread your arms out side to side. See how far you can reach. Mine's a little over five feet. So I know it takes four arm spans of dirt, of dirt, jeez, of line and I got 20 feet, all right? So we got one, we're gonna make nine more. All right, now that we've got lines stringing out all over the place, this is where we're gonna go ahead and work on stringing all of our noodles. So I'm gonna clean this all up and then we're gonna do one at a time individually. So go ahead and get all your stuff out and ready to go. Cause once you do one, you gotta do the same thing to the next nine. Okay, now that you have your eyelet and your string, go ahead and put the string through. And this, what kind of knot you use is really up to you. I'm gonna use just a basic fisherman's knot. I'm gonna go around one, two, three. See, I've got a loop, and I'm just going around four, five, six, seven. Once you go around seven times, go back through your circle, okay? And then back down through your hole, like that. This big heavy string, slide that knot down, and it's gonna take I mean, I'm a 200 pound man, so it's gonna take more than a 200 pound catfish to get that bad boy off. Go ahead and do that nine more times. So at the other end of the rope, there's a few different things you can do here. You can go ahead and put your weight on. Either way, you need to go ahead and put your weight on. 
Okay, but for there, you can put a snap weight right here, a little snapshot to hold it. About 12 inches from the bottom, you can go ahead and tie your hook. But what I like to do is go ahead and put my egg weight on, put my rattle on, and again, rattles are optional. Okay, so we're gonna string that down, then we're gonna tie it off with another fisherman's knot to the barrel swivel. So another fisherman's knot, let's look at that again. Just go through, around the line that's dangling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, th back through the circle and down through, down through the hole you made. I know that probably looks terrible. There, like so, and then slide your knot down. Pull it super freaking tight. So camera, that's not going anywhere, okay? So now what we can do with this end, and again, this is optional. This part is optional. You don't have to use these, but those fish, they like to roll when they bite. So when they roll and they bite, this swivel will just swivel, let them roll, wear themselves out, so you can yank them right up out of the water with your noodle. What I like to do is cut me off about 12 inches of line, right here. We're gonna tie one end to our hook with a fisherman's knot. And I use braided line, some people don't like it. I like it, I've got a lot of great luck with it. Never had bad luck to tell me otherwise. Okay, so we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, through our hole. Back through our circle, pull it tight on one end, and pull the rest of it tight. Don't hook yourself, it hurts. Slide that knot down, like that. Not going anywhere. We want just a little bit of line left over at the very end. The rest we're just gonna cut off, like so. Then we're gonna tie another fisherman's knot to our barrel swivel. Whoops. So around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, through the circle, back down through the loop. Like that. Pull this loose end tight. Slide your knot down. Damn it. Slide your knot down tight. Pull tight. And it's gonna take one hell of a catfish to ever interrupt that sequence of knots. Some people say we got too many knots. No, you don't. Not if you tie them good. If you got shitty knots and shitty line, it's not gonna work. So now we have one noodle made. We're gonna do that nine more times, see? But to wrap these up, it's real easy. Get your string. If you wrap it around the pipe itself, when you release it, it's too tight on there. And you'll see what I mean, like your line will just dangle. You wanna wrap everything around the noodle. I like to hold it with my finger and then just go around. Okay, so once you get down to the end here, your string will get raveled around this and tangled up, which makes it tough. So once you get to your weight, go ahead and come tight, down, and around you go. Okay, so that keeps that nice and tight against here, so your string doesn't get wrapped around it. Then just hook your hook right into your noodle. And boom, bada bing, we have one perfect noodle ready to go. So be sure to check out the video we make Monday when we return home from Truman Lake. Uh, showing these in live action, but otherwise we're just going to bait it here. Go ahead and get it to our weight, bait it, and then we're just going to throw it in the lake. And it'll unwind itself, drop to the bottom, and catch some big monster catfish for you.
guys, I sure hope you like watching us make these bad boys. It's 2.30 in the morning, I'm not wearing a watch, but I know what time it is. We're leaving about 5 a.m. for Truman Lake. 5 a.m., which is gonna suck. But we're gonna make some awesome videos because we're gonna catch some big fish. So one more time, be sure to click down below, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see y'all in the water. It's on.